Hello, shall we go? I'm just ready in our carriage, so you have time to make your preparations. Tell me when you're ready. We'll go ahead of you straight to Orleans and wait for your reinforcements. Okay. We won't let you down. And with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones Thunder Flash. In the last episode, we truly befriended Joan of Arc, and she's recruited six of us to escort her to Orleans as a measure of protection and we will fetch some reinforcements from Prince Charles in the process. Now before we actually leave this room, you want to go check out this training spot on the far right. In the last episode we already gave Wormhole to JP as a brand new saving move for him and the very first time you use the training wheel with him it will raise his cap stats by five. So you want to do it at least once. It's a free upgrade permanently of plus five, and then you can do it once or twice more as well if you like. This is a whoops, and JP has gotten covered in wine, we're going to call that. I don't think it's blood. Uh, try that again, JP. It doesn't have to be an excellent or anything, but just at least, like, catch it, mate. There we go, so that's a bit of an upgrade on JP, bringing his cap stat up to 91 to go with Wormhole. I will also check the eye natter before we leave, because we're talking about wearing armour. And Victor, it's almost like you're wearing your armour fight Lancelot. JP, it's almost like you've gone back home. The amount of French accents in this area is uh, quite the challenge on my throat, but... Yes, that's uh, that's an update on everything. Something else I also neglected to mention when we were exploring this area before. I think we were locked off from it on our very first trip, but you can actually go to the upper floor now of the Vucula hideout and speak to various French soldiers and just just have a look around. There's at least one item and there's a conversation topic over here as well about leather maintenance. So be sure to grab that and then you can either go back inside. Oh, you, you also see a treasure chest down there. You can go downstairs to the indoors there or to the outdoors as well. So two alternative ways to leave. Uh, make sure you grab, first of all, the milky coffee and then we'll go back to the actual, you know, fixing time and whatnot. Everyone's here, allons-y. Do you think she started to realize her power and stuff yet? She'll have to at some point. We need that Miximax. I wonder what it'll look like, rousing the courage of the team to change into an iron wall defense. Well, first of all, let's rouse the team with some epic music. Let's get the war themes going as we hop into our horse and carriage to by by horse travel travel around the French countryside you can move you know it looks like you're going very slowly based on perspective but you know you are on a horseback and carriage you, you're moving substantially faster than you would normally be moving at make sure to grab the gentleman's gloves and of course check the blog for any important messages uh, not a great deal over there but more about the key rings, I'll just, uh, I think you should get one of a rice ball! Thank, thank you, Roma, for your capital letters, as always. I bet he's amazing at staring contests. Um, yeah, if only that would be an excuse to get his goggles off him, and <laughs> more about a wheelie good trip. Yeah, we're definitely having a wheelie good trip right now, as we go on a horseback and carriage around Vaucouleur, as we head for Chinon Castle to speak with Prince Charles about rallying, of course, more troops for the benefit of France in this in this war against the English. <laughs> There's definitely no English watching this, ha ha ha. You can actually get into random encounters as well in this route, but they're very, very easily avoided, and I'm kind of already the ideal level for the next major battle of the game, so I'm just going to kind of 
skip past them all, but I still want to read those conversations though, because that one is about the food of travels across the French wars to be some of the worst they've ever experienced. Now over here there's also a merchant just in the middle of nowhere. Why would you sell things here of all places? He doesn't even have anything especially valuable, but you know, if you want to spend your money at the most awkwardly placed shop in the entirety of Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones, then that is your answer. So, this perspective and just general open grasslands kind of reminds me of the Earthbound Dinosaur Lands a little bit, where I, having enjoyed Earthbound up to that point, then had to stop because I hit a point of no return with no big bottle rockets and I gave up. But, uh, well, at least we know how to stay awake in in situations like that. Let's check up on you again. You're sure you're not English, aren't you? <coughs> None, sir. <laughs> yeah. So a real prince lives in this castle. Do you think his majesty will give me the reinforcements? He will if he doesn't want to mess up history. Arion, you really need to stop saying things like that. Nothing's certain anymore. They might still turn us away. Oh, what? It's alright, John. We're here with you. Merci. Please grant me courage. Well, before we grant you courage, we want to grant our team a valuable move manual, because as you know, if you're a long-time subscriber of this channel, my favourite character in the original trilogy of Inazuma Eleven is Jordan Greenway, Midori Kawa, and we just bought his move, Astro Break. I mean, it's not Astro Gate, unfortunately, but it's still the one he's more commonly associated with, and so immediately I want to purchase that move and give it to Faye. It's not you know, particularly good for him. It's it's at least same type attack bonus, wood moves, but it's like Bouncing Bunny is uh, 60 power, and Astro Break is also 60 power at a higher TP consume rate. But I just like the move and want someone to have it, that is all. Excusez-moi. You go there. Uh, I am... Um... Suspicious characters, aren't you? What business do you have here? Speak up! We are... Uh, we seek an audience with the prince. Who are you to meet with his majesty? I... I am Jeanne d'Arc of Dom Rami. God has led me here. Jeanne d'Arc? The girl from Vukula who is on a divine quest? Yes. Yonder Ark is here. Look her up. All that nonsense about voices. It's clearly all lies. And yet, among all the soldiers, there are souls who believe what she says. What would you have us do, Your Majesty? We have had an idea. Très masvelure. Let us test this John Ark and her famous abilities. <laughs> They're taking a long time. I knew they wouldn't believe me. And we need those reinforcements in Orléans right now. Doubting yourself won't help, Joan. You know you're right. Gabby, thank you. Joan of Arc has to save France. That's how history goes. Exactly. Joan of Arc is a hero, and no one can change that. Jean, His Majesty the Prince sends for you. Yes, my lord. Sir, I... Uh, everyone, come on. I mean, I don't know why we need to follow her. We're not really... Uh, <laughs> related, it's kind of like she could just bring her soldiers of any kind along. I guess we are reinforcements, but nevertheless, we get to look around the courtyard of the castle first. Uh, children are forbidden 
from lo loitering, well, that means we definitely need to follow her in instead, just so we do not qualify as loitering. You can explore the left and right hand sides, no you can't, never mind, let's check the blog for, for a quick redemption round. Uh, Ricardo is crying onto the floor. Why Ricardo of all people? The poor guy just getting used as the sad emote. Anyway, so we're already inside the castle now. Are you John de Arc? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, my lord. I had heard you were so skilled in battle as to put your knights to shame, but you don't have that look about you. The people gossip, my lord, and may exaggerate the truth. You said you wished to speak to his majesty the prince. Come, speak. I will only speak to Prince Charles himself. Prince Charles himself will not stand for your rudeness, peasants. Me? Calm yourself, Le Raya John. You may have a direct audience with His Majesty. Thank you, my lord. Well, they didn't need a great deal of convincing. She, uh, she asked once and, and on she comes. They're all still taking the mickey a bit about her speaking to God, but... Let's truly put it to the test and see. We are Charles. Raise your head and speak. Um. What's wrong now, girl? You have your audience with the prince. Now speak. But... What is it? Say what you have to say. Very well, I shall. This man is not Prince Charles. What is this? You dare show this insubordination to your sovereign lord? Oh, well, if you're so sure I'm an imposter, bring the real Prince Charles to me. Is this man really an imposter? I'm sure of it, but where is the real Prince Charles? They might be testing you. Prince Charles is probably a suspicious man. He has to be around here then, right? Let's split up and look for him. Good idea. Um, I hope we can find him. Well, that's, that's a task for us. We've got to find the real Prince Charles. Would he please stand up? First, there's a, an opportunity to speak with the imposter again. What if he's not an imposter? Maybe he is the real deal and just looks that pathetic all things around, you know. I, I, can I speak to him please? Thank you very much. I mean, he, he's even got Charles question mark in his dialogue box. There is a silver chest over here and we already got that ticket in uh, Steve's competition route. So that's given us another ticket to use in another route. Let's just, uh, okay, we have to use it actually in the menu rather of the competition rather than using it now, but it's good to see anyway that we've got the T-Rex order and Nobunaga Oda's aura as items in here. We've also kept Nobunaga's sword. Weren't we supposed to give that back? I'm just saying. There's actually plenty more in the menus that I've not even delved into yet, which we might as well have a quick look at. I'm not going in the Ultimate Eleven because it's spoilers, but the Innerpedia is an interesting glossary of sorts. It's got some good artwork in the back and just unique explanations written by the actual characters on what all of the important names we're coming across are. Like, for example, Siwu is Clark Wonderbot, or A.S. is, uh, would that, I'm not sure who A.S. is, actually, Aaron Sherwood, <laughs> uh, yeah, the most, the most obvious one of them all, they, uh, oh, wait, we've got, a, we've got a question mark, question mark there, but that's an important one, knowing what Contra actually means, Axel Blaze getting involved as well, but there's, there's plenty of these, that I can quickly go through. Prince Charles is still a silhouette. Is that the most direct confirmation we have that we haven't met the guy now? But uh, player records also in here. 
This is an achievements section. We're only 14% of the way through it, and I'll tell you something, it is nigh on impossible to complete it. Some of the things they require you to do is just insane, and we're never ever going to do it. And what's even worse is that some of the difficult achievements in here are actually required as pal pack recruitment features, which is just ridiculous. Got the player binder as well. This has been in all in Azuma 11 games, even the very first one. Just if there's someone in particular you would want to recruit, this will help you find them that little bit sooner. Hello, Beta. You're somewhat out of out of the picture now. <laughs> it didn't uh, last a very long time, exactly. But you know, white deer and a uh, football bots—they're all very different from each other. We do have unique descriptions. But, uh, and in a link we're very familiar with, of course, it's an excuse to look at the key rings again. Oh, I'm a key ring of a fluffy waffy teddy bear! That's one of the most awkward lines I've ever had to voice. Let's find that real Prince Charles then, after that slight distraction. Is he in the courtyard? Are the, is the dialogue even changing to reflect it? Or shall we just leave and head for the, the wider world outside? I mean, there's still the entrance column over here. Hmm. Your Majesty, are you out there? I don't think he'll just pop out for you. Football. Are you serious? Even in medieval France? I'm afraid so. Even in medieval France. I mean, I love the designs of these guys. <laughs> Minstrel just out there looking like the most evil guy going. i uh, tell you what, how much TP has Goldie got? Quite a lot, actually. I think we can use Gloopy Goopy Goo, or Goopy Gloopy Goo. Let me get that right, to steal the ball and then go for an actual shot with Goldie herself. I've just got to outrun these guys. Yeah, they're not especially high level, the brainwash team. Do Re Mi is a long shot, so I think we're going to see a lot of it in this Let's Play, but it's a fantastic looking move and very strong as well. So, um, why are we doing this again? <laughs> Just uh, thrust into a mandatory random encounter. Well, I love the look of the background out here. Beautiful looking castle. Not a patch on Ricardo's house though, of course. Hello, what am I doing here? Oh, bravo, bravo. What was that delightful trick? I have never seen such a game! A wonder to behold! Uh, <laughs> thanks. And you are? He's dressed like a palace servant. Did you enjoy our footy match? Ah, uh, that's what you call it. Footy! It's très intéressant! <laughs> yes, I am very interested in your footy! You are impressive! Uh, thanks. Wait, that's... Uh, I am your humble servant, your majesty. It is an honor to meet you. Did she just say what I think she said? Prince Charles? You saw through his disguise, I see. <laughs> you did very well, John Dark. King. Yes, your majesty. You are the rightful king of France, and only you can bring peace to this land. And this too is the will of God. In our panic of the attacks of the English, I fear we have lost the city of Reims, where all French kings have been crowned. How, pray tell, do you propose that I may be crowned king without access to that city? I am... that is... I... The English control many parts of France now, including Paris. But 
Their forces are scattered. If we can muster our forces and our spirits, then we can drive them out. I know we can. But if we lose all they own, this plan will fail. I beg you, please grant us aid. We urgently need reinforcements. Hmm. Yes, your majesty. Rally your troops. You will ride to Orléans. John, your devotion to your country has moved me. Thank you so much, your majesty. You did it, John. I did do it. Make your preparations quickly. John, you will ride as well. Of course. Everyone, come to the carriage when you are ready. Okay, so we have done quite the thing there. I mean, you know, that is how history panned out regardless of whether we were here or not. But it's, it's good to witness it and ensure that Protocol Omega don't mess that up even though they weren't here in any capacity other than dropping a single random encounter on us, which, all things considered, wasn't that difficult to deal with. It just mildly interested Prince Charles. But it does allow me to touch on a difference in the anime where... Uh, rather than just witnessing the game and complimenting it, instead Prince Charles actually participates in the game if you're watching the anime, and then there's a, a much bigger process of figuring out who he is, and it's, it's interesting to see, but yeah, we just get the condensed version here. But nevertheless, in the next episode, we will board the carriage and head out to, with the reinforcements into war. Ugh. <laughs>